Bless the Lord, everybody. Okay. Bless you, sir. Bless you. All right. Um, just okay. Well, you're answering, so I assume everyone else is hearing me clearly. I would assume so. All right. Um, bless the Lord, everyone. To the National Youth President. I want to greet the National Youth President and to our quiz coordinator, um, Missionary Shanique Dingham Walters, and to all the various persons that are online and to those that are at your churches. Now I'm seeing wherein I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm seeing some, some saints gathered at, is it with on? That's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. That tells me that there's a great interest with the Withan Church. Not that everybody don't have an interest because everybody that's here has a great interest because all of us are busy. I am extremely busy. But, um, you know, I, I thought it pertinent. I thought it necessary to be here today. I, I am both honored at the introduction that uh, missionary Walter just gave I'm both honored and terrified at the same time she used a term called veteran and I said boy yo what oh, that man <laughs> my god it's 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 it, it's it is what it is it is what it is all right so you know I heard people talking earlier on about being born in Gilbert's time um, but they were babies are about to be birthed in Gilbert's time I was around um in gilbert and i know what gilbert did i saw it first and so you know for persons who ask for respect to be put on their name speaking of the national president i think a, a little bit more respect can be put on my name as well because I, I i i saw gilbert my god what a thing all right so god bless and my i'm, I'm not going to be really be making a presentation Per se, I'm just going to be talking based on my experience, um, based on what missionary Walters had asked me to do. And it's somewhat difficult because when one is speaking about their own experience, it can be viewed in some ways as being arrogant or even boastful. But what are you to do if you have to speak about your past, your experience? I would so much rather somebody spoke about my life and my experience but then not everybody knows or remembers so therefore i will have to share my own experience now someone might ask a question you know what makes me qualified to speak um to persons about quiz as uh, missionary walters just said um a while ago i've participated um, for years in cuisine as both a player and a coach. So I have a bit of experience under my belt. Now, there are many roles I've played since I've been in church. Been saved over 20 odd years now, going near 30 years. Well, um, I have been a choirster, I've been an evangelist, I've been a Sunday school teacher. I've been the vice president at our local church in Sav. I've been the youth president at the local church in Sav. I've also been a national youth president. I am now a pastor of a church. All of these different accolades are different roles that I've played. I bless God for them. However, I do believe within myself that none of this would have been possible if not for Bible quiz. And I want to say that again. There are many other roles that I've played through these years, um, wherein some of you might know, some of you might not have known. But everything that I have um, a, a accomplished, so to speak, where the word is concerned, it all started with Bible quiz. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to speak to those that are in it and those that are new to it to let you understand that Bible quiz is something that is extremely important. For me, um, how I got started in Bible quiz, very interestingly, 
um, when I got saved, I used to read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible a, a, a lot. But, you know, I was just reading for the sake of reading, not understanding everything fully. But then, you know, the Lord will open my understanding as a young Christian. But I never usually go to church early. And I remember um, I went to a, a young people's Bible meeting, Tuesday night service in South, early one night. And when I went there, I realized that they were having quiz. Now, when I realized that they were having quiz, for all the youngsters that were in my age group, I was still new to the church. So I was sitting down, and I realized that they were asking questions. And while they were asking their questions, um, the young people were not answering. But then everything that they asked, I knew the answer to it. And I was there wondering if something was wrong with me because I'm like, I'm young. I'm a new convert. How is it that I'm no, I know these things, but yet um, the persons that are there don't know it? So the next week, I went back to church very early because I'm say, you know, I said to myself, I want to participate. And I went and I participated. When I participated, you know, I got the answers correctly. And even though I started late in um, participating in Bible quiz in church, at the end, which was about December, I think I started participating from maybe in um, maybe J June, July, thereabout. And by December, I won the first place and overall winner for the Bible quiz in SAV. That was my first experience of ever winning anything at all. And it was really, a, you know, a, a very elated experience for me. It, it gave a good feeling. And I can't forget the thing that I won. Um, I'm going to put a picture up here for you to see. The thing I won was something called a picture Bible. Now, um, for anybody who knows me, you know that I'm a visual person. I love visuals. Um, at the time, I did not like to read. So this Bible, it, 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 it did not give you a lot of words. It just told the stories in a picture form. So it is from Genesis all the way to Revelation, the entire Bible, but it is in a picture form. And I remember after going through that Bible because um, I usually love comic books, you know, love to read comic books and so on. So to actually see this in this form, it, it, it brought me back to reading comic books and so on. So when I was able to, you know, see what Moses did and to see, you know, what the depiction of Samson and so on, it really won my interest. And after reading through it, you know, I felt that, hey, I, I, I read the entire Bible. You know, and that's how I felt at the time. But this was where the desire was birthed. And then from there, I decided that I, you know, the picture of the Bible was not enough. I had to start to read the Bible more intensely. But what the picture of the Bible did was gave me an overall view of the entire Bible. So while reading these various stories, I had a knowledge of what it was, but now I'm reading the Bible and I'm getting more details. Um, I participated, I started participating in quizzing. And uh, to cut a long story short, because I'm not going to be babbling and saying, you know, a whole lot so that you lose interest. Um, but my team, I remember my team, we won the Bible quiz championships at, at, at camp, National Bible Quiz. I think we won it for our maybe three years straight. My team won for three years straight. The fourth year that we went, um, we, 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 <laughs> we, we practiced on everything, you know, went there to, to participate in Bible Quiz because we heard that there was going to be a Bible Quiz only to find out there will be no Bible Quiz because all the other teams and teams said they now play with our team because of whatever, whatever, whatever they said. But they said that they're not going to play with Savamar, uh, with that team. So we actually won by default for four years straight. Um, interestingly, I, I listened a while ago um, while persons were... Is that Sister Debbie, Missionary Ati? <laughs> Missionary Ati? Uh, uh, all right, I see, I look like I have a witness here. So if I was telling you... Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. All right, good, 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 good. Oh, oh. Actually, we were on the team. We were on the team. So if I was telling any lies, you could you could call me out. 
to say that I'm a liar. All right. Um, I heard persons talking about what two lies and one truth. I have told no lies so far. I I I I I, I would think I've told no lies. Um, so for that year, um, we actually I, I think I heard missionary Samuel talking about the quotation. <laughs> Sorry. I'm um, talking about the quotation completion. You know, interestingly, and Missionary Atty, you can back me up on this as well. That rule, that whole rule, when um, we were there, there was no rule like that. And one of the reasons why that rule came into being was because, by the grace of God, um, whenever I, uh, the quiz master would be asking a question, before they would go anywhere, as long as they say, according to chapter 1, verse 2, I would already know the answer to the question. So I would literally just stop the person and give the answer. And, uh, you know, coaches were upset with that. And so the rule was put in place so that if you interrupt the quiz master while they're asking the question, before they finish asking the question, <laughs> then you would have to finish the question in the way that the quiz master would have it on paper and then answer it. That was one of the things that were put in place um, because of our team at the time. Now, I'm saying all this to say that, you know, I've had plenty of experience in quiz. After we finish competing, then I coached the Savamar team for two years and we won the championship two years and then, you know, I went on to doing other things. Um, what was my method? How did I go about this whole thing of studying? Before I get into my purpose or reason for doing it, my method was I realized that studying requires a great deal. And so I saw Bible quiz as being a priority in my life. And so I would be at work. And back in those days, we never had no smartphone with Bibles on it. So I would have the little blue Bible. Yeah, there <laughs> you know, know those little blue Bibles. I would have those little blue, one of those little blue Bibles. And while I'm at work, I am there just reading, reading, reading. I gave time for studying. I saw this as being important. I didn't see it as being just something that Oh, you just do it if you wish to. I saw it as being something that I had to do. So I would read constantly. And I read so much to the point wherein um, I could start quoting from First Timothy chapter 1 and don't stop until the last chapter of Second Timothy. Know everything word for word and could quote it from heart, with, from memory without looking anywhere because I had this passion and this zeal, this desire to actually um, participate. Now, though, you know, that was kind of my method. Now, what was my motive? I would ask you the question as well. What is your motive? If your motive is just because you want to play a match and win so that your church can get a trophy, or uh, so that you can feel good about yourself. You say, you know, beat this a team and beat that the team. Um, there's nothing wrong with competition. Everywhere you go in life, there is a competition. So there's nothing wrong. But if your motive and your aim is just to compete because you want to win and you want a trophy, then I would say you need to check your motive. Your motive would be wrong. Um, the scripture says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman who did not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Your aim, firstly, must be because you want to know God through his word. If your aim is just because you want to win so that your church come up on top and maybe you can brag about it and you can show off, then... Your motive is wrong. Your motive must be, firstly, to know God. How are you going to know him? Through his word. 
And so this is why, you know, the, 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 the statement is not true in all cases when they say there are no winners, there's no losers, there are winners. It's not true in all cases. However, in Bible quiz, I dare to say that the statement is very profound and very true. That in Bible quiz, there are no losers. Why? If you did not get the trophy to say that you're the national Bible quiz champion and you have the bragging rights, so to speak, for, for the next year. If you did not get that trophy, let's analyze what you would have gotten. If you truly studied the word of God and truly did it in the right way, all of what you studied would be what you would have ingested and as a result of that, now have an understanding and a knowledge of God's word for you to apply it to your life. There are years when we, we lost. The first year we went in Bible quiz, we lost. Lost terribly. But I learned a valid lesson as a young man. Even though we lost, the word was still within me. And from that time from that age i realized that bible quiz is more than just a trophy of course we want to get the trophy but one must also remember that your aim must be to know god's word and if you lose the trophy you would have gotten to know the word of god nobody cannot take the book of timothy from me nobody cannot take the book of romans from me nobody cannot take the book of First Corinthians and Second Corinthians from me. Why? Because I've studied those books and all of that that I studied became a part of me. And let me also say that when the scripture says um, study to show thyself approve, a lot of preachers and teachers misinterpret that verse. It is not just talking about, you know, going to Go read the Bible and say, I study and I read God's word for myself. It's more than that. Study to show that you actually means to get a teacher. In the time when Paul wrote that verse, he was not telling people to go and lock in your corner and just go study. In those days, you need somebody to teach you so that, notice what he says, so that you might be able to write it correctly, divide the word of truth. If you don't have somebody who can teach you the right way then you're going to misinterpret because that's what happened when people just go and study things by themselves they have their own interpretation and this is why a coach is very important because the coach can help you to understand the word of god don't just let your practices be people swatting and you know just just learning the verses in terms of to memorize them but you should actually Put people at a place that they can understand what the chapter is saying, what the verse is saying, discussions can be had, so that when you finish, it is more than just a quiz practice. They would have felt that they left Bible study. We want people to develop a love of God, a love for his kingdom through Bible quiz. And I'm saying all this to say that who I am today all of it came because I started in Bible quiz. And so today, I want to encourage everyone that is here. Some of you might not see the necessity of it. Some people think it's foolishness. Well, I am living proof and others are here are living proof. I can attest to the importance of Bible study, Bible quiz in your church. It actually helps you to know God's word more, and also to have fellowship with others. So for me, um, I just want to encourage everyone to, in your individual way, in your small churches, in your big churches, sometimes you might be the only one who has the desire, and some of you might think to yourself that, oh, it's only three of us, and it's four that is needed. It's only two of us. And it's for that is needed. Both of you, both of you can still participate. At the end of the day, if nobody else has the desire to do it, and you have the desire, go forth, the two of you, because you can still 
accomplish great things. And again, as I said, there's no lose or no loss in it. It's a win-win situation. Um, you might win the trophy, but the overall best case scenario um, is that you, you get the trophy, but yet you still have the word of God. Let's say you don't get the trophy. You're still going to have the word of God with you. So I want to just take this time out just to encourage everybody. As I said, it's not a presentation per se. It's more of just my personal experience, my personal testimony, and me attesting to say that Bible quiz is important and it's, not, it's something that should not die. And whether it's four churches that participate or two churches that participate at the end of the day, um, it is something that is necessary. You don't know where the Lord is going to lead you from starting in Bible quiz. And I just want to encourage everybody um, to participate. Be a part of it. There's no loss in participating in Bible study. So, God bless you. And these are my few words to you all. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless. I, I think I don't even have to tell us to, to, to really give a round of applause, give a um, comment in the chat. But can we just, just give it up in whatever way you see necessary for Pastor Steve Mary uh, right now? It was a wonderful, very inspiring, very convincing. Just a second. Yes, presentation. And trust me, if if I was if I was in the position where I was logged on this afternoon, but I had some questions in my mind, should I really take the time out to be a part of Bible quiz? I think, as I said, my my doubts would have been settled. I appreciate even the fact that the note that Pastor Mary ended on, you know, to say that it it's it's a win win sense of God. It's a, it's a win win. Whether we go home the trophy or not, it is a win-win where we leave knowing God's word. And as he spoke, you know, always in my mind is, oh, that I may know him, right? That's, that's, that's always in my mind, oh, that I may know him. And the, the key to knowing God for ourselves, we talk about relationships oftentimes with God, but the key to knowing God is through his words, all right? And so we, we, we really appreciate Pastor Mary sharing his experience and sharing with us um, that this afternoon that Bible quiz is very, very essential. And we have to treat it as though it is it's a part of us. And it is what is going to motivate us, what is going to drive us. Even if our coaches may not be there for practice one day, I may not call um, quiz practice one day. But it is going to be what is within us that is going to drive us to practice. And even after Bible quiz... You may find yourself still studying, for example, Genesis chapter 1 to 12. But beyond, beyond Bible quiz, you might find yourself saying, no man, I need to know more. Going into chapter 13, going down and so forth. So it is really, it is really a great thing. And we appreciate uh, Pastor Mary sharing with us at this time.